so hi friend this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so here in this video I will talk about all triple IT safer score that is for J mains 2022 what, what should be your you? minimum percentile in order to get the triple IT college that is all category safer score here I will discuss that is for safe uh, that is safer score for top 5 triple IT safer score for top 10 top 15 or lowest possible triple IT so after watching this video you will able to know marks you should you should target that is by watching the other video that is uh, that marks is marks versus, versus your percentile video as i, I have like uploaded the updated video yesterday so you can check that video you will get the link in the i button as well as the description box so you will able to target the marks what you need to have if you are targeting a triple it college i have already provided the similar, similar video, video for an it college that is all for branches that. all category and all type of an it i have covered in that video you, yeah, you can check that video in the i button as well as the description box you will get the link that is complete analysis of an it cutoff that is safe percentile that you need to have in order to get the nit so here i am talking about triple it and very soon i will try to provide you the video for gfti and iits as well so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get the complete information about J mains and J advance in the same channel in the future days as well so please try to subscribe so let's continue this video that is first of all let's talk about top five triple IT college there are so only two or three branch available in a triple IT college that is CSC IT or EC branch so here I am considering that, that it is, is for CS IT I will provide you separate cutoff and for EC separate so if you are from general candidate and you are targeting top five triple IT then you should have 98.3 percentile for male candidate and 97.7 percentile for female candidate so the percentile will remain same you just need to have uh, less uh, or less. high marks depending on the difficulty of the paper so how much marks you should uh, you should have in order to get those percentile i have already uh, already discussed in my yesterday video that is updated marks versus percentile for j mains 2022 after the postponement of the examination so you can check that video also so, so now if you talk about safe percentile for ec branch then uh, 97 and 96.8 percentile for male and female candidate now so if now, you talk about for ews category then uh, for male 97.1 percentile and for female you can, you can deduct 0.5 percentile that is around 96.6 percentile if you will score you, you can, can easily get the top 5 iit with cs branch or it branch because there is a reservation for ews candidate and that too if you are from female then you will get more reservation there and for EC, EC branch 95.7 and 95.2 you can think for the for male the and female candidate respectively. So next if you talk about for OBC candidate again, again similar type of percentile will be there because EWS and OBC candidate uh, cutoff uh, is around, around same in the previous year of JOSA counseling. So and before moving forward for this video I would like to introduce the Unacademy learning app. Here, as you all know the Unacademy is the India's best learning app. So here is IIT, IIT. JE Super 30 A series is going on. So it will help you for the full and final revision of JE 2022 and every week 50 lucky winner will get the surprise gift and you, and just, you just, just need to solve the 15 question in the given time that is 30 minute and and for this you can enroll for free by using the code amit101 and the test will be conducted on 10th of april 11th of april 12th and as well as on 13th of april as well in the evening 6 pm so you just need to enroll here to uh, to do your preparation in more better way for the j mains examination as you all know the exam has been postponed now so you should so you can use this time at maximum in order to get the best result for yourself in this year of j mains examination so try to use the code amit101 to enroll here for free and for additional benefit as well and here is the and list of the uh, lucky winner who got the surprise gift from an academy in the super test series of previous week so you can also be the next winner so, so just, you just need to enroll here by using the code amit101 and all the link are available in the description box so try to use that and enroll here by using the code amit101 and also and there is iit je previous year question test series is going on as the date has been postponed so you should use this time in order to prepare well for the J mains examination so here you will get the question, question from 2011 to J mains that is previous year question and also you will be getting integrated rank predictor full length syllabus wise test series with high weightage topics and also the detailed explanation of every question so try to use the code amit101 to enroll here and one more thing I would like to inform you that I am providing you the safe score for only JOSA counseling not the CSEP counseling because in CSEP counseling anything can happen and anyone can get the seat uh, at very, at low, very low score as well as I have guided lots of a student last year for CSEP and JOSA counseling so I know this thing but to be safe you should target the JOSA counseling because in that it is certain that you will get the college but in CSEP anything can happen so that's why I'm providing you the information which is relevant to JOSA counseling and which is relevant to this year it is not the last year cutoff I am providing you I am providing you the detailed cutoff that you can expect for this year of JOSA counseling after 
analyzing the last three four years cut off and the current year trend because this year number of students may increase a little bit after the postponement of the examination so i've considered everything and it takes lots of time to provide you the safe score for triple it or an it college so please try to subscribe this channel so that i will get some support from your side and i will continue to make the video so for uh, sc candidate 89.7 percentile you need to score in order to get the top five triple it with cs or it branch and for ec 84 percentile and if you are from sc and female candidate then you can decrease 2 to 3 percentile from that and for st candidate 87 and 85 and if you are female then same that is 2 to 3 percentile less you need to score because female female category reservation is also there in some triple it college so now let's talk about the top 10 triple it college but before moving forward for this video i would like to inform you that I am providing the complete mentorship and guidance program. So, so if you want, want to enroll in that, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. And uh, once you register with my guidance, I will be discussing everything from now up to your admission is done. That is, I will be connected to you and if possible with your parents as well from now up to your admission is done. First, I will guide you for the preparation according to your interest, according to your goal, because different students have different type of interest and different type of goal. So according to that, I will provide you the roadmap how much marks you should have in order to get those colleges what you are expecting and with that branch so everything up to your exam first that is for J mains thereafter similarly for J advance and after that I will be guiding you for the most important thing that is the counseling process not only JOSA or CSAP counseling if you will do other counseling that is uh, ja uh, that is Jack Daly, Jack Chandigarh or any other entrance exam counseling if you will appear Comet K or WBJ or MSTCET, KCET or AEEE, VIT any type of counseling I will be guiding you from now up to your admission is done for everything that is in that mentorship and guidance program and for that you need to pay a nominal fee there, that is one time payment and thereafter I will be guiding you for everything from now up to your admission is done. So if you want you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box because this is the very important time for a student career. If you do any type of mistake once you get the less result uh, anyone can't do anything for you because your rank can't be changed. So it is very important time for you to uh, prepare well and follow the right path. So if you are not enrolled in a proper coaching and you are confused with the, with your preparation, you can contact me so that I will be guiding you for everything as I have guided lots of lots of us friends in previous three years who are in IITs, NITs, Triple IT college and GFTI college as well. So if you want, you can contact me anytime. So let's continue this video that is for top 10 triple IT safe a score for general candidate will be 97.6 and 97 percentile for male and female and for EC 96.5 and 96 percentile. And for now I will discuss about for only male candidate if you are a female you can check after the slash. So for EWS 96.9 and 95.6 percentile for OBC 96.7 and 95.5 percentile for SC 83 and 79.2 percentile that is for CSC and EC branch respectively. So now uh, if you talk about for ST candidate 82 and 77 percentile. So now let's so talk about the safe score for top 15 triple IT college. So here is the information that is for CSC, IT and EC branch for general 97 and 96 percentile, EWS 95.9, 94.7 percentile and for OBC 95.8 and 94.8 percentile and for SC candidate 76 and 74 percentile. So for SC, ST candidate try to listen my word very carefully. One, One thing word. I would like to inform you that is very important to notice that is if you haven't done any type of preparation for J mains or J advanced still yet then also it is possible to get best triple IT, best NIT or even IIT college as well because you people need to have very less marks including PWD candidate as well. So you can do the preparation to get those college because you need less marks as compared to other people. So you have to just follow the right path so that you can prepare the syllabus that will be required because less marks also need some preparation. So for so that also you can contact me so that I will be guiding you how you can start your preparation from yeah. scratch so that you can achieve your goal by this year. And one more thing that is for triple IT and GFTI college there is no TFW scheme for SCST or PWD candidate. That's why the cutoff for triple IT or GFTI in case of SCST and PWD candidate is a little bit low that is at very low score you will be able to get because of the no TFW scheme availability in NIT there is TFW scheme that is tuition fee waiver you will not have to pay any type of tuition fee in NIT college but for triple IT and GFTI you need to pay the tuition fee that's why the cutoff is low uh, because many uh, people just uh, want yeah. to uh, get into the IIT no matter with any type of branch because they don't want to pay the tuition fee so let's continue so, this video that is for st candidate 75 and 70 percentile will be required so now let's talk about for lowest triple it college 
So for general candidate 95.5 percentile for CSIT and 95 percentile for EC branch. This is the minimum percentile that you need to have in order to get the triple IT college and for EC you can think at 94.5 percentile also you can get because lower triple IT are very less demandable and uh, for EWS 93.9 and 93 percentile and for OBC 94 and 93.2 percentile and again I am telling you uh, this, this is the data the... which is relevant to JUSA counseling only not to CSEV counseling because in CSEV you can get the uh, triple IT at 90 percentile also if you are general or if you are EWS then you can get it very low anything can happen in CSEV counseling so I can't predict but according to the last so many years uh, uh, trend I will try to provide you the safe score for uh, CSEV counseling also that is in later days but now I am just providing the information uh, which uh, is relevant to JOSA counseling because to be safe you need to consider the JOSA counseling. So for OBC 94 and 93.2 percentile and for SC 70 and 67 percentile and for ST 66 and 63 percentile will be required. So this so is this all about the safe score that you need to have that, that minimum the... percentile that you need to have in order to get the triple IT college for this year of uh, J.E. mains examination that is you will get the college through JOSA 2022 so I have considered JOSA counseling not CSEP counseling so don't try to confuse because last year so many students get the college through CSEP counseling so they may tell you that you can get an IT or triple IT at low score as well but that is not 100% sure because CSEP counseling is not 100% sure you can get it but there can't be a surety so I will try to provide you the video relevant to CSEP also but in later days as of now you should target the JOSA counseling. So thanks so for thank watching this video. Please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update about JMA and J Advance in this same channel. Thanks.